Welcome back to the Toki Fresh Podcast. My name is David. I am here with Jordan. I'm here. Live in the fresh. In the fresh. Live in the fresh. Live in the fresh. Live, Live in and the fresh. In the flesh. In the, the, the Tokyo flesh. Yeah. In the Tokyo Fresh studio. Back in Tokyo. Um, I'm melting. I mean, I mean, you were in Tokyo before. Yeah, but I was like different part of Tokyo. Yeah. I was melting on the way here. It is a billion degrees today in Tokyo. It's fucking hot. I, like, I gotta... We talk about the weather a lot, but man, it is... I, I hate starting a podcast. It's like the most British thing to do to start the the podcast about the weather. But the problem is during the like the Japanese summertime, uh, the weather this, is man. yeah. It, it's so okay. Here's my thing. Whenever it gets like the tiniest bit hot, like it'll go from a brisk I don't know 15 mm-hmm. degrees to like 18. Suddenly I've nowhere. Everyone's like, ooh, atsui des, atsui da ne. Mm-hmm, atsui so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring this up here. Uh, it's 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 reversed. 30, 35. 35 but degrees. but that's that's the actual like Bullshit. heat. Yeah. Here's what it if you if you look at the uh, the feels like section, forty four yeah. degrees. Forty four degrees. It it's is fucking sixty four percent humidity. Yeah, it's fucking blazing. This is my thing. Like, when the degrees rises like two three degrees, people do a whole thing in Japan where they go, "Ah, oh, it's snare. You, it's a snare. Yeah, mm. it, isn't it hot today? Yeah, it's, it's quite hot. Yeah, it's quite hot. And it's not hot. It's never hot. No. It's never really warm. It's like it's like. 20 something degrees and they're all like mm, it's getting up there i'm always like no it's not you're gonna be okay this isn't even summer yet please hold mm-hmm. hold firm because like if you <laughs> wait a minute no wait a minute because if you start putting on summer clothes now when actual summer comes you're gonna get fried and that's now i get up this morning yeah i saw you before i'm chilling in my room i'm relaxing got got the ac running everything's cool drinking my little water getting some editing done I start living my day. I'm like, okay, got to get ready, got to get dressed, got to get out the house. To this moment, I don't know how, how hot the weather is. I'm like, yo, let me let me hit that balcony a little bit. Pick some of my blueberries, you know, make a little smoothie, get my laundry out, go to David's house. I open my balcony door and it feels like someone is baking bread outside and my balcony is the oven. It is, it is, it is so <laughs> It's so, it's so hot. It's not even funny. It's it's weird in that like the heat is so the, combined with the humidity, it's yeah. so hot yeah. that like there feels like there is actually like a physical oh, yeah. wall of heat in front of at all times. Like yeah. when you go in and out of buildings, it feels like you have to push your way outside to get kind there. Yes, yeah, it's it's such a like coming from Canada, I'm not used to that. Like it's horrible going from like warm to cold it never ever feels like that no 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 when you go from like warm to cold it feels like you're free like Mm -hmm. it's just like ah, i'm no problem like it's i'm cold makes you go faster yeah 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 yeah. 100 percent. heat is just like it bogs you down like it's really hard and the worst thing is well i think people don't realize like japanese in the summertime Mm -hmm. the thing i hate the most about it is that not the most one of the things i hate the most about it is that for some reason all the trains just suddenly get delayed for no reason like like it just gets so hot the trains always uh, like seem to slow down as well like i think i was, I was waiting at my station for like like 15 minutes for 15 minutes mm-hmm. to go onto a train and i'm looking and i'm like bro I, like i let i went into the station and i'm like the next train's in like 15 minutes that's crazy and i look and it's like oh no the train's like five minutes late and i'm like yeah. it's 20 minutes to my next train the fuck so i go down to the to the the guy in the thing and i'm like dude let me out and he's like yeah, and I'm like, let me out. The train is not here for 20 minutes. Mm. There's a Starbucks right there. Why would I not? Why would I? so I just sat in the Starbucks for like 10 minutes? Yeah, and like, I'm listening to the train. I'm like, there are no trains coming. It is, it is dead silent up there. What the fuck? Yeah, I, I I wonder if it's just like a thing like they don't want to run the the trains too hard. No, yeah, to where they blow something or something. No, you will. No, hundred percent. Wasn't there, there was a story a little while ago? Um, one of the trains, like the motor exploded, and there was like a massive fire on the tracks because yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, that was that bad. That would slow your train down even more. I'd rather have slow trains than like something on the chill line <laughs> exploding. Something on fire, man. Listen, I hate when the chill line explodes, and I'm like, oh my, I'm on my, I got <laughs> places to be. I'm like, I'm like, again, gosh, come right. on, guys, I'm trying to get to work. Another Tuesday on Chuo Ten. Honestly, if the train like exploded, like the train in front of me exploded, I would get off the train. Like the one behind it, just switch platforms. But like, I'm going home. 
<laughs> I'm going home. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm done. I'm going. I'm done. This day is over. Like, yeah. this is not going to be fixed in the next hour or so. Whatever I'm doing, it's cancelled. My day is over. It's a wrap. I'm going back to my air conditioned right. house, and I'm going to play Mario RPG or whatever until. How's that been going? I had to stop playing because I'm a. Uh, uh, it's fun. I go to the air. I go to the part where Bowser joins my team. Okay, so you're t- feel like fairly deep. I'm fairly deep. Yeah, it's really I fun. Think he's. The last one to There's join There's one you? more after Bowser, I think. I think Princess Peach isn't on my team yet. Okay, yeah, and she she does join, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's like one more after Bowser joins, but it's fun. It's a game that... It, it, it's an RPG, but it's also a rhythm game. You know what I mean? Oh, where you gotta hit A when you're jumping on people's heads? Yeah, you gotta hit A if you're doing like a jump attack Do thingy. The they you they gotta... like put an option in the new version where it just like auto presses that button. Oh, that's lame, dude. I think. So I wouldn't there's want There's something that. like that. Like there's like a... Or like they they widen the amount of like space that you have time to press the, the yeah, button yeah, yeah. to get a critical so it's like super duper easy. You can, if you pick easy mode, I think like yeah, as long as you press the button, you'll get a critical. Mm. It's we- it's weird because like I know that there's specifically Mario has like a move that's just like like infinite jumping, and so yes. long as you keep like yes. critical hitting, you just keep you keep doing jumping. It. Yeah. So widening the gap of where you can press the it's button, not good. Yeah. Show like that would just straight up break that move. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's, there's a really interesting like I got is a there shell. Any reason to play the original now that the remake is out? Um, mm. maybe. maybe? I don't I don't know what all they have changed. I've never played the original, so I can't speak upon like what they've changed. Let me look. I'll I'll uh remake changes. Let me see. Stay inside, brother. <laughs> I'm all getting right, remake like changes and differences. Go on, let me know. Um new there's new content. Yeah. So yeah, action command prompts for easier timing, which is what I was talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, triple move attacks, which I guess they didn't have triple move attacks. Oh, the specials? Yeah. Those are cool. I, yeah, I, I guess they didn't exist. For some reason, I've, like, memory hold that into my brain that they did, and I know now that they do not. Okay. Uh, there's, like, an action move gauge. Action move. The, like, percentile gauge. Oh, that's, that's cool. Th- that's for your triple move. Yeah, yeah, that's really fun. Yeah, that makes sense. Exist. Uh, post game boss rematches, chained attacks offer ally buffs. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, players can... can give Mario and his allies buffs by chaining their attacks. Okay. Uh, post game sound mode, like and you know the old school, like you know you can play all this music and sound effects. That's and, pretty like, good thing. Classic. Yeah. Uh, easier difficulty. They added a bestiary oh the um, echo signal ring or whatever to find invisible blocks <laughs> jump counters appear during super jump it's pretty good uh you have a storage box which you didn't have before mm. um oh fast mo- travel that would be nice fast- oh yeah, yeah monster list as well which is pretty cool switching party members on their turn new agu- new equipment in post game okay so they've ad- it seems like they've mm. added some post game stuff what would i do after i'm completed the game what what did you post game i mean usually there's like some kind of um mini games like, like uh secret dungeons to like i mean it's a square oh, enix fun. rpg right like there's always like oh, good point. Yeah, the yeah, hidden yeah. dungeon that you have to do to unlock the super powerful weapon that you don't need because now you've beat the game yeah so classic yeah I, I i think playing through it to, to how far i've gotten there's a bunch of like mini games as well there's like a, a weird log ride game and a jumpy mini game and such i think those would be pretty fun to go back to huh. like for a little okay, bit okay this is interesting to remove some missables from the original game so some features or items found in the original game which were originally missable have mm-hmm. been updated and can now be accessed even after reaching later parts in the game so oh, okay so cool. it's like stuff that like if you didn't find th- like maybe i don't know like a mine blows up and you can't yeah, get yeah, back yeah, in the yeah, line yeah, yeah. so you can't Casino game changes, uh, coin limit increased. Yeah, so like cool. in general, okay. it seems like ninety percent of this is like quality of life features, which is for good. the most part, which is good. Yeah, but it does help. I feel like the game now is more comfortable to play in hearing what the mm. old game would be. New game is a lot easier. The auto save fe- feature helps as well. Um, yeah, that's yeah, really it definitely good. did not have an auto save feature when you... I played it. Oh my god, you need an auto save feature because like you're just slogging along for like room after room. Like there's one part of this game where you're like you're in this weird maze thing and every room you enter you gotta like 
are you going to go left, right, up or down to like find the puppet character dude or whatever? But you're just like slocking through this maze for so long that if there wasn't an autosave feature and it was like, I don't know, like 1 a.m., you didn't know you, you didn't know what you're getting yourself into. You've entered this maze and you're like, fuck, now I've got to find this guy, play it to the end or start from the fucking beginning. You know what I mean? Yeah, pretty, I, I don't think like... I've never been a fan of that kind of stuff yeah, in games same. where like it, it's it puts you in a not like a repeatable dungeon, but just kind of mm. like this weirdly endless dungeon if you don't know what you're doing. Like a, oh, a lost them. a lost woods type situation. There there's those in games, and it's like, but we're not going to give you a save point unless you leave yeah. and like restart again. It's like yeah. I don't want to do that either. Like that's that's basically just backtracking, and I've made yeah. no progress. I think, so why would I do that? Like Breath of the Wild and the other one. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Tears has, of the game. Yeah, they have that as well. The, the weird, like, foggy wood type thing. It's a special <laughs> way you've got to get inside the the fucking forest in order to get to the, what's it, Crocs Village or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hated that the first time I went to it. I hated it. I was yeah. like, how do I how do I get inside the village? And I'm like, following this path. And I'm like, oh, no, that's the wrong way. Uh, start again. Uh, start Dickhead. again. I'm like, there's no intuitive way of knowing where the fuck I'm going. Like, what the fuck? And I, th- I think I looked online. They were like, oh. You've got to look very carefully at the smoke, and, and the smoke will be three pixels longer than the smoke on the left, and that's the way to go. And I'm like, this game right. sucks. This yeah, game D- sucks. Dan mentioned that. He said, at least with the forest, there's a trick, but it still sucks because you just end up Googling what the trick is. Yes, exactly. You just, I just Google it. Because you get like, frustrated, and you're like, I don't have, I don't, like, have the... Yeah, I don't know. Like, old games like that were, like, they had they had things like that. I, yeah. I wonder, like, what I did before the internet where, like, I just didn't Google stuff. And I was uh, like, oh. yeah, that, that was the book guys you could buy as well. You could, but I never had the money to no, buy No, it's a lot of money. Things, but like, you could, like not that. Well, buy. Just, you just read them. You just <laughs> Oh, here's a little bit of a difference, though. I have to drive in a car 30 minutes to get anywhere where I can buy one of the books Ooh. in order to read it. By so, the time you get home, you remember yeah. it. Shit. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. We used to just kind of um, kind of work it out. Do you remember that all on the back of all the games in the instruction manual? There's always like a page for notes. That you could yeah, take. who took that? notes? I'm sure there's some people. There's actually um, speaking of that, mm-hmm. that that just reminded me of a video. Yeah. There's a guy on YouTube mm-hmm. who he he made like an Elden Ring like book where he like illustrated all of the things that he he saw and did like along his playthrough. So he played sick. it blind. It's pretty sick. And and then illustrated, but the illustrations all all they good? I'll bring it up right now. Um they the illustrations are fucking amazing. Um I'm going to open the stream so I can see it. Yeah, here it is. Uh, his name is Artsy Artifacts uh, and his journal is <laughs> fucking amazing. All I'll bring it up here Art- in the Art-C artifacts. I'll bring it up name. here in the uh, browser. Just give me a second. I'm even a little gander. I'm loading the stream so I can see. So I'm just gonna uh, how I need make that big. And we'll just we'll just size this up so you can actually see it here. I don't know why. Even in wide mode, it's not wide. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> doesn't want to wide but yeah it's it's like actually amazing uh i'm always i'm always really impressed um so we'll take a look at his his book here i can't see it oh there you go oh but his illustrations are amazing like they look so good wow okay he got himself like a leather bound book pure like completely white and just sort of like illustrated the shit out of it oh my god imagine like an old school grim or something that's the kind of what he's done here that's yeah, so like, cool look at that that's fucking amazing that's really cool holy shit but like his his art is like Yo. actually like really 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 awesome he's got like his little his little like notepad where he's like describing oh, that's characters so cute bless his soul i guess he does it all with like a watercolor stuff oh that's so sick yeah like his his finished Stuff like I know exactly what this is, right? Because cool. it's like the uh, it's Ronnie and the dragon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I know Clive. that guy because I I got it. I have that exact hat and mask uh, helmet that I really like. There's a there's a for those who played Elden Ring. There's a hat and mask, and the mask is like a weird like executioner's mask almost. But the hat is basically a, a, a big sun hat, and yeah. it is it is the funnest thing to wear while running around the map. It looks so silly. Yeah, like Thopes and like the Ever Jail and. Oh, these are great. Like, they're, they're, there's fucking patches, that piece of shit. Oh, you fucking bastard. Do you kill him as well? 
bastard. No, you get you get something. Don't kill patches. I mean, yeah, but sometimes jar you... village is a little. Sometimes you want to. Oh, the, Aaron, the jaw, chill. the jaws. Yeah. The fucking crystal snakes. Yeah, like this is like this mm-hmm. is like I took the notes page to Jeez. level a million. Jeez, yeah. Fuck, dude. Yo, imagine you ask for this guy's notes and he hands you his binder. It's, it's just, like, here you go. It's just this fucking tome of art. You're like, bro, this is... this is. Th- these are the notes I expect when I was in, like, fucking secondary school. And I'm like, guys, can I see your notes? Like, this is what I wanted. This was the quality of note I wanted. Not, like, just hey, saying, <laughs> do the reading. Fucking chicken scratch. Yeah, yeah, I can't read it. Well, the diagrams are dog shit. Dude, fuck. Oh, that's cool. I-, I-, I could never play a game like that. Mostly because I can't draw for shit, but... Well, I mean... I guess if you started doing drawing like all the time oh, as you're point. playing, you might get better at drawing. Most because I can't draw for shit and I don't have the inclination or the time to want to learn to draw. That's probably, mm. That makes more sense, yeah. Drawing is difficult, I will say that. Drawing is hard. I mean, I saw the video that PewDiePie made a little while ago. He drew an image every day for, I forgot, mm. like, like 100 days. And, and he got really good. He, yeah. really good he, he cool. already was like kind of okay at art. Though. Oh, yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. But it's it's still but, very impressive, you know, yeah. That that is a practice skill you don't like. I mean, is, some people are just good in general. Like mm. my um, my niece, mm. or not my niece. She's my cousin, rather. Yeah. Um, she's actually like extremely good at drawing, and she's like ten. Jealous. Like I'll see if I have. Jealous. I'll, I'll bring up. Uh, I'll show you a picture. Um, but yeah, she's like extremely good at drawing. I don't know. She like must get it from her mom, like genetically, because mm. her mom also can. Draw. Oh, that's cool as fuck. But I, yeah, it's. I feel like a lot of those skills are uh, you. Do you sometimes have like a base for certain skills ready? But I think the, the most annoying thing is trying to find out what your sort of weird base of skills is. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like there are a lot of people who are good at drawing, like little things like that. And you can kind of like, you can work out that you're good at drawing just by being in school. Like you, you, you eventually like will go to an art class and be like, oh, look at that. I'm kind of a cut above the rest naturally. How interesting. But like, what if someone's really good at like, I don't know, like, statistics or something or mm-hmm. like they're really good at excel sheets like inputting data how would you work that out unless you work in a weird company that makes you input data for a living you know like there's weird base skills that i think do you know do you know blackpink do you know lisa the from band Black- yeah the band yes yeah. this is drawn by an 11 year old oh this 11 year old is more talented than i am that's crazy yeah that's insane that's it's really extremely well done. <laughs> extremely good it's like a very, very accurate uh, picture of Blackpink. And I guess, like, probably she's watching, like, her old dad's VHS because she's, like, drawing yes. Sailor Moon and, and, and stuff. Oh. And, like, again, Eleven. Like, that's cool. That's, Bless this herself. is a pretty good Neptune for 11 years old, right? Like, that's really cute. Bless herself. It's not bad. I hope she hones that skill. Yeah. Uh, that, that's a... She's, she's really good at eyes. drawing animals as well. Mm. I wish I'm I had hard. that skill. I wish I had a drawing skill. But Same. Same. Drawing seems like the most fun skill to have. Like doodling, being able to doodle like really high, Im- like high spec images while I'm like working or something is, is mm. it sounds really cool. But I'm learning a learning a new skill. I should say I'm re-upping a skill that I kind of have a base level for before, which is like skateboarding. Oh yeah. Like last week I was at home, I was working, um, and I get a message from Sean, and Sean's base like, "Hey, do you want to go buy skateboards?" It's not. It's not out of nowhere. It's kind of um. It's something that he's wanted to start getting back into for a while now, but we've just never had Mm -hmm. time to go and buy some skateboards. Um, I was in the area and there's a skateboard shop near me. Mm. So we're like, fuck it, why not? Let's go and uh, look at some skateboards. So we go to this store. This store, David, okay. Has skateboarding, like, okay. Go on. Has skateboarding really picked up since, um, uh, in Japan, since, I think it was the Olympics, right? The Tokyo Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Since the the Japanese kid won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every skateboarding event. Like everything. Like everything. What's crazy was like, um, skateboarding is like a big thing here. Uh, a big, ha- mm, a big thing here. Skateboarding's become a bigger thing here, but I know it. It, it was a thing. It was even a thing yeah. when like, because I came here in high school, mm. and even then I still remember people skateboarding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I specifically remember um, close. It was in Shibuya. Nice. Do you know where the um? Oh, what is it? The the Mont Blanc, um, not the Mont Blanc. What the fuck store is it? The 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 store that sells like the mountaineering gear. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. You yeah. know how it's like, 
on like it's got like a T intersection, but like it's on a like a really big yeah, hill. that massive hill. Yeah, yeah. I remember like when I was in Tokyo, just watching dudes just bomb down that fucking hill. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. What is going on here? Anatano IP address is a personal phone number. Breaking the computer. Apparently, I am. Hang on. Nice. Boom, boom. This. What the fuck is this? You trying to find people bombing down the hill, David? No, 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 no. Something just happened with my Google Chrome. Classic. I mean, that yeah, was weird. I you I apologize for stream listeners. I don't know what the fuck that was. You're okay. Don't worry about it. Go on. You were saying. Um. Yeah, but like they, <laughs> Chrome didn't shut down correctly. Restore. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not selling crack again. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah. They're they're just like bombing down that hill, like full fucking speed into the uh into the into the street at the Jesus bottom I'm like it's like Christ weaving dude. in through taxis and shit and i'm like wow that's fucking dangerous because that that is a significant yeah. hill like it's not a small hill what's funny is that i think um skateboarding used to be more counterculture in america mm. and now it's more i wouldn't say mainstream but it's more like you know i feel like now in america like skating is more like this is an old man sport. Oh yeah, there's, there's a bit of that as well. There's a lot of like old head skaters, like in yeah, the 30s yeah, yeah. and 40s and such. In Japan, it's very much like a young man's game, and it's still very sort of counterculture. Um, skateboarding had big, like it boomed during the Olympics. More skate shops opened up, more like places opened up to, like skate and stuff. But the problem is, you still can't really skate anywhere. There's the one paid place in Shibuya on top of uh, the new building you can skate, but outside of that, there's not really many places you can go and like skate. Luckily, I live in a park that has kind of a almost designated skate spot mm -hmm. and it's just like because the park is so big they're like yeah sure cool you can have like a corner and it's a tiny tiny little corner of the park that you can skateboard in but like other than that space the rest of the park is like a no skate zone almost like like you go too far deep in the park and they'll be like oh you can't skate here and you're like it, it's a fucking park mm -hmm. what do you mean i can't skate here oh it's dangerous you have people gunning down this park on bikes you have people like hitting these hills on their bikes i can't if I get hit by a bike, I'm fucked. That is going to that is right. gonna cut yeah, yeah. through me. If I get hit by a skateboard, what's going to happen? This guy knocks into me. You'll probably get knocked down, but he's getting flung. Oh, he's getting flung. He's going to eat shit. I, I, I do a little fall over. Maybe, maybe the skateboard hits my shit and I go, ooh, ow. Yeah. That's it, literally. Mm -hmm. like, it's, it's way more dangerous. But I'll never understand it. Like, Japan is trying to embrace skate culture, but there is nowhere to skate. And the problem is, like, a lot of my friends who skate are coming to visit Japan and they're like, oh my God, I'm going to bring my skateboard so I can like skate in Japan. And I've got to tell them like your idea of Japan as like this place where skateboarding is a thing yeah. is, no. is it's going to be crushed. You, there's no way you can really skateboard here for free. Unless you have a park on the outskirts of Tokyo where I live. Right. Yeah. There's nowhere to do it. Like, it's it, silly. Like, so you, you've skated more than I skated, probably yeah. anyone I, I know here. I skated um, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, uh, like, do you find, like, maybe this is kind of a weird question because yeah. you, it's hard to decipher motive for multiple reasons. But, mm. like, do you find that you get, like, harangued by cops, like, fairly often? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. always. And, like, what is yeah. their, like, are they just, like, you need to wear a fucking helmet or, if, like, what's their... If I have my longboard and I'm... So I have a longboard and a skateboard. The skateboard's new, so I normally like carry it to the park and then I'll like use it while I'm in the park. If I'm in the park skating. The video's frozen. Is it? Is it? Is it still frozen? I don't know. It uh, it's not frozen on my end, but nope. it could be. Probably for a second. It's working now. You're good. Be you fine. You might have to reset Arena there, Dan. Yeah. Anyway, um, if uh if I'm at the park with my skateboard and the cops like ride by or something, nothing. They won't be like, hey, you boy, what are you doing in this park? Because I'm in the skate area of the park, it's fine. But if I'm longboarding to the park or I'm longboarding somewhere, or I'm just carrying my longboard, I get stopped like all the time. Like they're like, oh, where, where, what are you doing with that? And I'm like, I'm going home. Ah, uh, uh, what is it? Is it a skateboard? Is it a longboard? Like sometimes right. they're just like generally curious and it's just, like a little question, question, and then I'm on my way. But sometimes it's like, it's like a, it's like a uh, are there drugs in that board? Huh? Right. There, huh? It's more, it's more curiosity than anything. If it's more curiosity, you can always tell. Like they, they come very like sort of light heartedly. They were like, ah, oh, what a big skateboard, and you're like, oh, it's a longboard. It's really heavy, and it's for like cruising. And they go, oh, that's cool, and that, that'll be it. I mean, it's it's essentially like 
it's it's basically the same thing as a bike, right? Yeah. Like the the intent to yeah. use like Literally. I know you can do like tricks and shit on a Not on my board. one, dude. My one has my one has the biggest wood you can get. Listen, it's like you can try. You can try. I'm not gonna say you could. Oh no, I'm oh, saying yeah. you could try. Yeah, you could try. I've seen people do it. Oh yeah, yeah. If I change my wheels, I can do some like power size on the longboard. But no, like, I'm talking like people doing like I've seen people do shit where like they're doing like tail flips and oh, shit. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude. No, you can do with, that, a, yeah. with a longboard. That's crazy. Like, they're just launching that. Well, because it's big, right? Yeah, so yeah, you get yeah, a lot yeah. of power out of it, dude. That's crazy. You'd have to. Um, mine's a really heavy double grip one, so it's used mostly for just like mm. cruising and going as fast as you fucking can. But I had a lighter one back in the day, and that one you could do more tricks on. Like, that was, like, easier to, like... You could ollie on it if you wanted to. See, that's the thing. Like, I think, like, it's it's weird, but, like, Tokyo, for the most part, mm. I'm going to say is, like, would kind of be awesome for having a longboard because yeah. everything yeah. is paved. It's great. It's... Yes. And, I do, and I don't know why the police would be like, oh, you can't ride your skateboard here, but you can ride a bicycle. It's like, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, Tony Hawk's fucking pro skater, like, yeah. grinding on the fucking I'm, railing. I'm literally the bus skating stop. home. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, chill. Like, what? Yeah. Why would you ask me about it? When I lived in Kanagawa, I used to skateboard home all the time. Like, I think I'd, I'd, I'd skateboarded from Mitaka to uh, where I lived. And it was like a long, it was like a long trip to, to skate mm. all the way there. Like, but. The entire thing is paved. So you have like bevy in one hand, one headphone in, and you can just skate home. It's a great little like trip home. Mm. But sometimes like, you know, bevy in hand, please be like, hey, you don't, know, yeah, well, you, I don't mean, drink and you skate. Can't, you can't drink and, and ride your bike either. You can't, exactly. So they'll be like, hey, don't drink and skate. And I'm like, oh, my bad. But yeah, finish that can and then you can move along. And I'm like, thanks, boss man. You, you drain the can and you know, you, you, you're, you're fine to go. But then there'll be times where I'm just skating home, mm. no headphones in, just enjoying the night air, just trying to get home. And it'll be like, ah, oh, you, no skateboarding here. And I'm like, it's not a skateboard. The amount of times I've had to argue, please, like, it's not a skateboard. <laughs> and they're like, ah, oh, well, it's it's got four wheels and it's a board. I'm like, that's it's, got it's, four wheels. Is that a skateboard? skateboard? It's a car skateboard? You fucking idiot. It's like, it's not a skateboard. Fuck off. And they'll be like, oh, but... Oh, you know, you can't do tricks, man. You know, I physically can't do tricks. It's way too heavy in the world. If I tape two bicycles together, would they be a skateboard? Fucking idiot. What's wrong with you, dude? Fuck it. If I throw some marbles on the floor and I put a piece of plywood on it, is that a skateboard? Right. Yeah, like, oh. like it's, not, it's not even that, right? It's like, okay, if I had like a pedal go kart or something, right? Because, like, yeah. I'm sure those exist. Oh, yeah. Would you be like, oh, I can't be doing that. That's a skateboard. That's if not... I'm riding a fucking potty pocket little tricycle, are you going to stop me and be like, get off the track? No, you right, won't let me yeah, ride no, it. You know? Leave me alone. Yeah. Stop being a weirdo. It's but, that, but that's why I asked because I'm like, I'm like, okay, well, like, are they haranguing you because you're a foreigner and you're black or are they actually like give a shit about where you're riding? A they give a shit. Board? They give a shit you're riding it. Yeah. They, they, they are very territorial with their weird. It's because they're uh, bored. But they're right, very territorial sure. with their weird streets. Yeah. They're like, oh, we don't you riding here because reasons. Because you go, reasons? Sure. You go, yeah, well, those reasons, they go, you know. The <laughs> I don't, so you're going to have to explain. Cult cultural re reasons? Like, one time the guy was like, I think the dude said something, he said something on the lines of, you can't ride the skateboard here. And I go, yes, I can. It's not a skateboard. And he goes, no, you can't. And I go, where does it say that? And he goes, oh, this is Japan. I go, yeah, sh I bought the skateboard in Japan. Let's try this again. Why can't I ride this? So it's longboard. I'm like, why can't I ride this longboard on these streets? And he's like, oh, it's the rules. Once again, what rules? Please show me these rules. Right. You're going to whip out a book to show no, me. No, 100%. Please yeah. like bang out, bang out these rules. Show me where. Because like, I, I love lying. I love just bold face lying to the police. Like I think I said to one guy, I already confirmed with uh, the city hall that I can ride a skateboard on mm. these streets. And they said, okay. And they'll be like, eh? eh? I'm like, yep. I confirmed with City Hall before I bought it. I asked them, hey, can I ride a longboard on these streets? Because I knew they you went, dickheads were going to yep, give me trouble. Because I knew it. And they're like, oh, 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 ja, oh, it's okay. This isn't like Kogane. They're like, oh, ja, it's fine. Oh, you could just go then. And I'm like, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I lied. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's problem. Like, it's I don't know. It, it, it's a weird situation where, like, more than likely in all cases it's mm. probably okay but people will yeah. tell you no just because they can yeah like i feel like that's it's like well everyone else isn't doing it ergo it's yeah. nobody should do it, it, like, should well, do it yeah. no 
when no one else has a gun, you have a gun. How is that fair, Mr. Officer? I think you should hand me your fucking Beyblade gun. No? <laughs> Shut yes. fuck up then, you idiot. Like, <laughs> you're allowed to use a gun. I have to throw bullets as hard as I can. Something's right. not fair here, bro. Like, That's exactly right. What a fuck. Dan's, I talk, I actually know your boss, Tanaka. Like, in 50%, 50% of the time, you're okay. You're right. Uh, I actually know uh, Senior Officer Tanaka. He's like, my right. dad? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Personally, and he said that if you stop me, it means no dinner before bed. And he's like, fuck, dude, we're having karage. It's my favorite. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, oh man, no dinner before bed. We're having, we're having Japanese hot pockets. Fuck, oh, God. What am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to watch Dry Mom before I went to bed. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do. No, why he's become a he's become a elementary school kid. But yeah, you know. What? Speaking kids. of of longboarding, yeah. Just before we hop into like our our main topic, uh, we're gonna talk about today. Whatever happened to rollerblades? My little brother started rollerblading. Oh, really? And they, now uh, they're making a comeback. It. Yep, they're making a comeback. Mm. I um, oh, sorry, I. They're not. Well, I should call them by their proper name of inline skates. Oh, inline, which makes them inline skates. Infinitely less cringy. Yeah, inline skates. No, no, I don't yeah. know. They're like, yeah. It's, you attach. I it's mean, cool. you attach wheels to your feet. It's like evolved heelys. Yeah, it's cooler. Um, have you seen the new heelys that have four wheels? Th- that's just like reverting back to like the seventies when you go yeah. to like fucking roller disco. Basically, yeah, yeah, literally. And these shoes cost like someone. No, oh, fuck that. Exactly. I could, man. You could get like I remember in the nineties, you could get a nice pair of like rollerblades for like, oh nothing, like ninety bucks. Ninety bucks. Maybe. I, I had a really nice pair of rollerblades. I think I think I got them for like thirty bucks, and they were like nice. Like me nice too. Pair. I also had rollerblades. Dude, yeah. crazy. But I was talking. About, I was talking to my little brother yesterday. He was up at five. He's finished school. He's finished his tests. He's just like on some right. kind of holiday in the UK. And he's he's mess- summer vacation. Dude. I don't know, man. I I'm, I'm out of the, I'm out of the loop now. And he mess he's messaging me, and he's like, "Oh, you know, I'm listening to this song that we were listening to when I was in Japan." And I was like, "It's a banging song." We're talking about that for a bit, and then he's like, "Then wait, then I'm like, wait, it's five a.m. What the fuck are you doing awake?" And he's like, "Can't sleep. Gonna ride my bike for a bit." And I was like, "What the fuck?" So he just like he just leaves just the house and- around. The- yeah. But I was like, you know what? That's fucking, that's fucking seishun as fuck, my dude. That's, that, that's so fucking sick. I remember I used to do that. Mm. Not, not on like a bike. I used to just leave the house at like 5 a.m. to like go for long walks in the morning. Because like, it's the safest time. I would, I would do that here. Like, yeah, it's great. Yeah, like 2 or 3 a.m. And just be like, oh, I'm going to go walking. Oh, I... I not, not in summertime. No. It's, it's blazing hot. But I love a 2, 3 a.m. walk. In Japan is so nice. Like even my little brother, my little brother when he was here was doing the same thing. He was like, "Can I go for a walk at like 3 a.m.?" Like, yeah, the street's safe. Like, mm. you're you're the scariest thing out there now. Like, enjoy, <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. You're 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 a, you're a black kid walking around at fucking 3 a.m. In, in in outskirts of Tokyo. The streets are yours. Yep. You are the king of Tokyo right now. Go and have a blast, dude. Go yeah, on. I've thought I've thought about buying like yeah, talking about this now. I, like I've thought about buying a skateboard or get a skateboard. Join us. Like, do you have like a skateboard skateboard or yeah. okay i have a skate where we we were learning uh, i was relearning how to ride it normally because i ride goofy which is when like left left foot forward yeah i, I do left foot back That's and i regular no 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 no, no, no. i do goofy apparently is we that goofy yeah we ride goofy you me and sean we all ride goofy i mm, maybe i'm not Maybe I'm not as down with the kids as I thought I was. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> goofy Wait. versus regular. Goofy versus regular. Yeah, so what goofy... Re- oh, regular is left foot forward. Weird. Yeah, I ride goofy. Yeah, I ride goofy as well. It's way better. It's more comfortable. It's way yes, more comfortable. I don't know why that is, but... Mm, it's better. But then um, I was like, I got to learn to ride regular as well just for the bands. So I've been doing that. Um, and then Sean's been learning just the balance on the board, how to ride, how to pump. And then we keep, we've gone twice now, and every time we go out, we meet a new skateboarding master who, in, like, teaches us, a, like, for, like, three to five minutes mm. and improves our level by, like, 20, 30%. I, like, used to, I used to skateboard a lot when I was oh, a kid. Join, join. Yeah. It's crazy. We, we, Sean used to skateboard a bunch. I did more longboarding, but then the leaps and bounds we're leveling up is crazy. Like, yesterday, um, I was trying to, like, do a, do, like, a cut on the board where you, like, you sort of pop it and you like skim the board so you can like spin like 360 whatever yeah so i'm doing that and i'm like i can't get any motion in this board 
bro comes up skate skateboard senpai just like oh hey you, sh- you should do this like basically t poles and just move your entire body as you're turning and not just with your waist and i'm like huh you don't say i try that one time and i'm like 180 get accomplished next like next fucking step like what the fuck like and every time he the guy the guy would come back and be like hey when you're pumping instead of doing it that way do it this way and it'd be like a little thing he'd be like like put your right hand on your knee as you pump and then bend down a little bit more and he's like to sean bend down a lot more jordan bend down a little bit more okay bye i'm gonna go fucking do some cool shit over there and it'll vanish and we're like oh let's give it a go oh i've just significantly improved again like People like that are crazy. And we asked him, like, oh, how long have you been skateboarding for? He's like, 10 years. Hmm. He's hmm. like, I'm like 28, like 10 years. Hmm. How much does skateboard run you? Uh, a lot. A like, lot. Like someone. That seems expensive for a skateboard. Reasonable, apparently. We did the math. Huh. Yeah, I know, right? Because it's, it's not just the board. It was the you board. The, the trucks everything. and the wheels. Board, the trucks, and... the wheels, the base, everything was like new. Mm-hmm. That's why. You, you, can get, you can get a cheaper board, like mm-hmm. for sure, but... I was like, I'm going to be using it a lot and I'm going to be scuffing it to high hell. So I might as well just like get. And I feel like a skateboard is like infinitely easier to store here than a fucking bicycle. Way easier to store. <laughs> like I could just like Fuck set me. it in the thing. I just throw it in my game con when I come back. Yeah, exactly. Right. And I'm like, cool. My long ball is hard at the store because it's fucking huge and heavy and you got to keep moving it around. But like skateboard, I'm just like, I'm home. You just, you just bought it at like a skate shop? There's a skate shop near me. It's the most oh, skate. Really? That's- yeah. Weird. It's it's under my my train tracks and it's the most skateboarding skate shop you've ever been to. Let me quickly explain uh explain the skate shop. It's owned by a dude who is um a sponsored skater, and he has a bunch of like skateboarding friends that are always hanging out outside of his store, just like vibing and drinking. They're cool as shit. I go there one day, this is like before I bought the board. On the on the website, um the opening. Do you know the opening hours? Is it literally called Underpass? Yes. Yeah. Read the opening hours. Uh, if you can find them on the thing. It just says open. There we go. And it closes at 8 p.m. Uh-huh. Lies. Everything on that website is... Everything on Google is a fucking lie. Because that store is supposedly opened 3 to 8 p.m. Yes, it's 3 to 8 on Saturdays. 3 p.m. is... Cr- I once went there at 3 p.m. on a Saturday. I get there, the store is closed. Huh. No one's there. And I'm like, huh. Let me uh, let me check their Instagram. Nothing. Let me check their uh, the, the the websites and such. Nothing. I'm like, that's crazy. I'll well, come back and like tiny it's shop. Tiny. It's but it, the guy it's like sick. literally like a a room. Yep. It's a room. It's a hole in the wall. It's cool. He built he built our skateboards for us basically. No charge. Rad. And then gave us like a stack of stickers. But yeah. I go there at like I go there at three. Still closed. I go there at four. Still closed. I'm like, that's crazy. I was like, fine, whatever. I'm gonna live my life. I'm gonna go home. I have things to do today. They update their story at like four, start like four fifty something, almost five o'clock. Story is like, hey, we're open from like five today. It's like, bro, okay, bro, you y'all y'all are way too fucking chill. What are you doing, basically? But no, that is our that is our local skate shop. Hmm. And those guys, the owner and all the friends, they skate in the local park as well. So you'll be at the park and just see them, and they'll be like, hey, <laughs> you joining oh. us? You joining us to skate today? And you just skate with them, dude. At, cool people very cool people but yeah that's that's my local skate shop ah buy a board come join us we'll do skating together i wouldn't mind one just for like getting around oh yeah they're good just like even even like oh i gotta go to the store i'll just take my skateboard oh yeah it's fun i love doing that on the longboard it's fun like i'm I'm like 100 percent down for that anytime do you want to talk about um Donald Trump being shot. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into like the main story of the, of the, uh, because of course, like, you know, I think it was like, what we did that podcast. And then like that, that night, night, and I'm like, all right, well, I guess this is a next week story, bro. Okay. I have, I have the entire scoop of the story. So for those, if you don't know at this stage, holy yeah, fucking I shit. I don't know what you're doing. If you don't know at this point, but for those who don't know, Donald Trump was shot at a, uh, a rally in Pennsylvania, I believe. He was shot by like a young 20-year-old dude. The jury is apparently out whether yep. it, he's like a Republican or a Democrat, whatever. Clearly a Republican, so whatever. I mean, like, he, he was a registered Republican. He's a registered know. Republican. People are like, he donated. Which is, which is we- okay, like, yeah. can we, before we even move on. Go on. Can we, can we address mm-hmm. being a registered something to a political party? Crazy. That sounds really weird. So weird. America's weird, dude. That, 
that like to me that mm. borders on like weird commie shit or yes. like being a Nazi. America's weird. You have to register as well. Like so. They have these like open or closed. It's required to vote yes. in a lot of places. What yes. the fuck? Yes. That's what I was going to get into. Good man. So and they also have like open or closed primaries where you can register as Republican, Democrat, or uh, like a third party. <laughs> I freelance. Yeah, like not... un undecided type thing. And then during the primaries, they'll do something like you have open primaries, closed primaries, where if the primary is open, if you're registered as a Republican, a, Republican or a Democrat, you can vote in the primaries. You, you can choose the candidate for. Let's okay, say. so like, let's say I'm like a registered Republican. Yes, and I don't vote. Does like my vote just go to whatever Republican person? No, in the it's, thing? it's you, you just no vote. So then, what the fuck's the point of vo registering primaries? Okay, but again, if I don't go vote, who gives a shit? You just don't vote. You counsel because if if you're taking the step to register as a Republican, you're a Republican. You. You're taking the steps to do it. Sure, but, but like... Why would you take the steps to register and not vote? Uh, yes, of course. Well, in that case, yes, I understand that. But I'm saying, why do you need this weird, awkward middle step? If America you're going to vote anyway, mm. just vote. I don't need to join your party and jerk each other off in your political circle jerk. Dash, dash America. It depends on how much of the voice... What do I get from membership? Oh, nothing, really. Oh, then primaries. What's the fucking point? Primary, sorry, primaries. You get to pick the candidate. So in closed primaries, um, yeah, that is where you can only vote in. You can only vote for choosing the candidate of the party you're registered to. So if okay, yeah. I see. So like, if I'm a registered Republican, you can not I vote, vote yes. for who I want to represent me as president. A Republican. You've got it exactly. I see. That that's that's like the the key benefit of like um, registering for. Uh, to be a Republican or a Democrat. Registering to vote, okay. basically. So what, what's the deal with people who fall outside of Democrat or Republican? Independence. Sure. You don't vote for anyone, I think. So it depends on the on the state. So if your state is... If your state's primaries are open, it doesn't matter if you're Repu registered Republican, Democrat, right. or Independent. You can choose the candidate for both parties. It doesn't matter. Right. It's open. Closed primaries, you can only choose ones you're... you're, vote, you're uh, registered to, and I think independents can vote on. Oh, I'm trying to remember. In independents can vote on Republican and Democrat depending on the state. So some states allow it, some states don't. Right. Okay. I can remember. This is first year or second year American politics. Forgive me, I'm rusty. It's been a while, but that is like how the system works. Basically, it's it's a it's a fucked up system. It's all kind of, mm -hmm. from what I remember historically, it's to it's so they can control who becomes the uh, the leaders of the party, so who becomes mm -hmm. the president down the road, basically. It's all just like system to block in, uh, direct voting, basically. Because direct okay. democracy in America would basically lead to the Republicans always losing because there are more registered Democratic voters and voters who want Democrats to win than there are Republicans. Yeah. Okay. That's the whole system. It's really stupid. But no, he uh, registered to vote and he registered uh, Republican. So he's your Republican on paper. Forgive me for those who want to believe he's a Democrat. Sadly, that's just not the case. Okay. And then he, did, he, he took some shots at the um, at the president-elect. It's pretty mm -hmm. fucked. Did yeah, you see the video? Um, it was pretty fucked. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. I'm just reading what, what Dan says in the chat here. Jordan, our cornfields need their votes too. Listen, yeah, your I cornfields so. can burn. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, uh, like... That's so funny. On paper, yeah. he's a Republican. Yes. So like, technically, I guess he's voting in the Republican candidate. Primaries, but, yes. In the primaries. But then come actual voting time, he could vote Democrat if yep. he wanted. That doesn't matter. You can vote if you want. Yeah. Right. Okay, so that... So that's weird then, because, mm -hmm. like, in that case, couldn't mm -hmm. you just vote for the shittiest Republican candidate and then immediately swap and vote Democrat come election yeah, you could try time? To. Yeah, that's a strap. In open primaries, that's what they try to do. Right. So okay. in open primaries, Democrats and Republicans will so, vote. But th there's closed primaries where you yeah. can't do that. I you see. can't do okay. that, yeah. So in open primaries, you do that. Little, seems very confusing. For Americans' political simple. system is meant to be confusing. For, for, like it's designed to be confusing it's designed to have so many checks and balances that your one vote in the state of i don't fucking know uh, the kentucky that you're voting from will yep. never be as strong as 
the dudes won vote from fucking three states over. Like you remember the entirety of like the the uh, presidential election in America is decided by like five states. Every other state is solid. Yeah, it's like it's like what California, New York, uh, all the swing states. New York, yeah, yeah California, New. I forgot the swing states. But yeah, there's a bunch of swing states that decide. Florida, Florida, maybe I don't remember, but yeah. Google, tell me, the swing states. Um, um swing, swing state states. is blah 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 blah. blah. I don't oh, care. got it. It's um Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Minnesota, Arizona, Georgia, Virginia, Florida, oh, Michigan, Nevada, Florida, like California, Florida, and New York are not swing states. No, they're they Democrats. Al- they're always the Democrats, same yeah. party, basically. Oh, and Ohio is no longer a swing state. Interesting. They went red. They went red, baby. Mm. But yeah, those are the swing states. And they basically determine who's going to win the election. Mm-hmm. From what I remember, I'm getting very swing into... Swing states are the ones no one cares about. Okay, got no. you. Do you want me to read these again? No one cares about these yeah, states. No, no, no. I, I got it. I Freaking mean, Ohio's on that list. Ohio's on like Colorado. What do they do? Smoke, Smoke weed. weed. That's, That's, about about it. It. That's about it. Florida, Michigan, Arizona. The iced tea is delicious. What else mm. you guys do for me? What did you do for me recently? <laughs> what did you do for me recently, bro? <laughs> It's 99 cents. <laughs> vote listen. hasn't changed. Bro, listen, vote for me. Come on, man. Vote for me. I will keep Arizona green tea 99 cents I, oh, forever. That's the only thing I would stand on. But guys, listen, I will make sure that shit is 99p forever, guys. Don't worry about it. 99 cents, forgive me, forever. Don't worry about it. Arizona iced tea also kind of fucking bangs. It's, it's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. It's pretty fucking I like their, their uh, tea cross lemonade. The the, the Palmer, whatever it's called. There was a, there was a, a pomegranate... Um, oh yeah, remember that, that one? Too. Yeah. God damn, there was a pomegranate Arizona iced tea. I'm in the states. I'm I'm a young impressionable lad. I'm British. I don't know about these these American e colors. They're next level to me. They're illegal mm. in Europe. I go to I go to the fucking states. I'm in Georgia. We go to a gas station or whatever. I go into this place. There is what is the biggest can of anything I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, this is huge. This is this is just, it, this is a thick big boy can. We don't get cans that big in the UK. No, no, That's no. insane. This is a tall boy. It's a tall boy. I'm like 99 cents. I'll take it. Pomegranate. You're coming with me. My mother takes one zip. She's like, listen, you're gonna have to buy yourself another can. And my mom doesn't even like tea. Hmm. It's so fucking good. It's so anyway. Oh, I want some. I want some iced tea right now, dude. Fuck, Dan says, a, apparently he didn't get shot. The glass from the teleprompter hit his ear. Apparently, yeah. There's, there's a lot of talk of what happened. So initially it was, he didn't get shot. It was the glass from the teleprompter. And then they showed like slow motion of the bullet basically passing his ear. So then he did get shot. It's still unsure like what, what actually, actually happened. happened. There's no like, there's no single report that's come out to suggest like the entirety of the events leading up to it, the the mo- the motives and such. But yeah, it was he was shot, then he wasn't shot, then it was glass, then it was a bullet, then it was like it was it was staged right. by the you know it's, it's, a, a lot. it's an inside job. Inside job. The bullets came from within the party. The bullets were curving. Magneto right. <laughs> is that you, Magneto? Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, is that you just wanted? I think the um some of the funniest memes I I fucking love the memes. Some of the best memes to come out of this um one was the joke were really funny you see the jojo meme no i I've, i'll sit you right now there was a jojo meme of basically there's an episode of uh jojo's Bar adventures where someone tries to shoot josuke and fucking star platinum comes out and catches the bullet and um <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's yeah right it's it's at the beginning where he yep. sh- goes to shoot himself he goes to shoot head. himself and star platinum catches it and it's just like instead of uh joe skates it's just the sight of trump's head it's a top platinum's like caught the fucking bullet dude this had me fucking dying so many so good um oh fuck me the one that really hit japan a little bit too hard poor japan honestly <laughs> honestly poor japan for those who don't know there was a meme where i think it was shared on 4chan initially where of course because that's where all the good memes are made it's the um the, for those that know it's the abbe have sex meme where it's abbe's soul going <laughs> here, off to I heaven bring it up I thank have you it right here uh so for those, those who are listening one one image is the abbe have sex meme his soul is slowly drifting to heaven then on the left side it's like donald trump like barreled down covered in yeah. blood uh the uh, secret service like covering over him basically and the text just reads donald Dokun. Get up, Donald Kun. And then Trump replies, 
Shinzo? <laughs> it's just it's a really, it's really, it's a really good meme. It makes me laugh really hard. And then from that one, there was another one where, once again, it's a, it's, it's dead to have this sex, Abe. Oh, man. And it, it reads, every time. it reads, Mr. President, why did you suddenly turn your head? And then Trump replies, well, for a moment, I thought I heard the voice of an old friend. And it's just have sex, Abbe <laughs> meme floating in the distance. And that, <laughs> that's really, it's really, that's funny. really good. It's a, it's a great meme. It's fucking hilarious. Oh, God, We're it's here funny. for it. It's I, pretty funny. It's really good. What happened afterwards is, um, is even better. Japanese Twitter didn't realize this it, wasn't, it, was, it wasn't real. <laughs> they didn't realize it wasn't real. It wasn't they thought it was real. They uh, thought this was an actual interview where someone said to Trump, "Hey Trump, why did you turn your head?" And he replied, "I heard, I heard the voice." I heard the voice of fucking Shinzo Abe from that one meme about having sex, and they were like, "Yo, shit, uh, no fucking way!" And they started sharing that shit oh, on Twitter God. like it was real, like it actually fucking happened. And you had everyone in like the UK, sorry, the UK, in, in like the English speaking japan new space being like someone please tell them that it was it was only a meme please for the love of god because they're not listening they they oh th to god. this day they think it's real they think he so, turned his head so dumb. because <laughs> he heard so a voice dumb. Of fucking have oh my god <laughs> so fucking good dude i swear to god oh my fucking god that meme is fantastic that is that is like my favorite Abe was almost killed me. It's brilliant, honestly. You know, I was on the I was on the teleprompter, and I got I got hit in the ear. I got hit in the ear. Oh, he's and given. Then, he's and given. then I and then I heard my friend, best friend, best friend best in the world. Friend, I've heard him. One of my best friends from from the grave. You know, only me. <laughs> looking up, looking up, looking up know. at me from hell. All the crimes he did. And, and he, he said, said he said to me, Donald. That's <laughs> <laughs> what he calls me. Calls me Donald. He said, Donald. <laughs> I fucking love Abby, dude. I fucking love. <laughs> fucking love Abby. Tate do. Dude, I fucking. He said, Donald Kun, Tate do. I didn't know what he meant, so I looked around. I, I, didn't, I didn't know what he meant. I don't speak Chinese. I don't speak Chinese. But you know, he's not Chinese. He's Japanese. It's very different. It's a big country. I didn't know. Nobody knew. It's a separate country. Bro, I fucking. Listen, I. I gotta put this out there. I don't want Donald Trump to win, but also. I kind of want him to win because it's, really, it's funny. really, it's really funny. It's re he's he was on the, uh, the 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 RNC, yeah. He was doing the RNC speech and he spoke for like forty something minutes. Oh my god, bro spoke for forty minutes about it was no. He might win this fucking election depending on how um, it's spun by other like news outlets later on. He might win the election because. I, th I think someone went to him and was like, "Hey, Donald, listen, um, you almost you, you basically shot. Kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie to you. Kind of sick. The election's yours. You've won this. All you, especially you were shot in Pennsylvania, a swing state. That state's now yours. You've won that. Easy, hands down. All you need to do now is go forward with this idea of unification. You can say whatever you want. Just don't say bad <laughs> things about Biden, and the election is yours. That's all he has to do." Yeah. Pretty much. His entire fucking speech, he mentioned Biden one time, and he even pointed out, he was like, I'm only going to mention him once. I, 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 can, I can use his name one time, then I'll never use it again. And, and you know, Biden, he's done bad things to the country. And he, and the rest of the speech is basically saying, like, he, you know, normal rhetoric. You know, uh, illegal immigrants bad, mm. uh, America good, uh, the brown people suspicioso, we don't like them. Unless they vote for me, then they're good. You know, casual Trump shit. But then he also was talking about the fact that he got shot. Bro, bro, this cunt, I hate him. I, fu I fucking, he I goes, never watched it, but you no, know, it was great. I had to watch it. I watched it on the way here. It was fucking sick. He goes, he goes, and you know, guys, I'm not, I'm not even meant to be here right now. I'm not, I'm not even meant to be here. And everyone's like, yeah, they started chanting. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And he's like, no, no, no. I'm not even meant to be here right now. If it wasn't for a... Uh, for God above. And everyone went. Oh my God. Woo. Let's go. Bro, I, I, he's going to be insufferable. He's going to be the worst. Mm -hmm. And he kept, he kept looping back to the fact that, uh, that he got shot. 
over and over, like, bro. He's, he's milking it so bad, right? Because it's, it's yeah. not like he, like, got shot like Abe did. No. And, like, he, he, like, went down and survived or something, right? It's not a situation like that. It's like he got nicked in the ear, and he's mm-hmm. like... He's just like, oh, it's like getting shot right in the heart. Right in the heart. You know, it's just, everyone's saying it's very dangerous oh. to get shot anywhere else. He said that. He he literally said, uh, I think the quote was something like, I didn't know, nobody knew, getting shot in the ear produces the most amount of blood. And I said to the doctor, why is there so much blood? And the doctor said, nobody knew. The doctor said, well, it's the worst place to get shot. It's a lot of blood comes out when you get shot in the ear. He's making it seem like getting shot in the ear was worse than getting shot in the fucking heart. Bros, bros are menace. Have you seen my favorite meme? The Maybe, best I meme? Know. I can't find it. I was looking for it. But the best meme is... It's the scene from... Uh, you know the scene from Iron Man? Where... What's his face? Clay is whatever. He's like... He's like... Tony managed to build this! In a... Yeah, in a yeah, cave yeah. with a bunch of scraps! There was one that was like... It was, it was something like... How did you miss? It was like... How did you miss? Abby is assassin... Abby is assassin... <laughs> <laughs> managed to kill him! <laughs> <laughs> the gun made out of a bunch of scraps. scraps. <laughs> you had American steel, and yeah, you couldn't kill him. That's because he's the goat. Okay, the goat. Bro was a man of, of pure focus. He had one mission, and he and went he out. Was and successful. He was successful. This bro was like, I'm gonna try the same. This soy boy, I'm gonna try the same thing. I'm gonna, ugh, ugh. You were, you was, you were this close, and you still missed. That's crazy. That's crazy, honestly. Well, apparently the problem was he wasn't close enough. Bro, how much closer you want to be? What the fuck? Wasn't he like, not even wasn't he like I know for a fact, the building he was in, the building he was on top of, forgive me, inside of that building was like secret service or police or something. Just vibing. Uh, no. So like the secret service where Trump was speaking was like behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On buildings. Yeah. And like, okay, if I'm like laying this out. Yeah, 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 Trump yeah. is here. Yep. The Secret Service is on the buildings here. Mm-hmm. He's like up on like a little bit of a hill on yeah. a different building. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was near enough, basically. Oh, I mean, he hit the guy. I mean, yeah, he hit the guy. And also, there were... <laughs> that's fucking ridiculous. He had a viewfinder or whatever it was. Yeah, he walked in a scope. Yeah, like a like... viewfinder. I, I'm British. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you're not American. I'm British. I forgive guess. me. We don't. Uh, we don't understand your levels of freedoms. Right. Um, Forgive me again. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like you a, still uh, got views to find. No, we got. Listen, we got views to find. He was like, he said, "Oh shit, I got this guy saying some racist shit right now." I'm looking at these views, boy. But no, he had one of those, um, and they were like, "Oh, that's kind of sus." I right, let him in, but you know, keep keep watch of him, and just no one, just no one watched him. And then you have the crowd being like, "Hey, um, guy's kind of suspicious. He's he's a." Uh, He's crawling up on that ledge pretty suspiciously with a gun. Maybe maybe someone should um should stop him, you know? And everyone went, nah, I'll be fine. Police went, nah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Why? Nah. Why the fuck is Hulk Hogan speaking at the RNC? Like <sighs> fucking I fucking like, Hulk Hogan, dude. At the RNC? Yeah. Have you yeah, not seen it. this? Yeah. Hold on. Have you? Have you seen it? Oh, no. I no. only Okay, no. then I'll I'll just f- fucking bring it up. I here. only watched. Is he ripping? Did he just? Yeah, hang on. I'll I'll play it in the in the browser here. I might um, hate this man. Nine minutes of Hulk Hogan. What does Hulk Hogan no, have not, to it's say? Not, it's not that long. Hang on. What the fuck does Hulk Hogan have to? Is that, that's the wrestler, right? Yes. <laughs> right. He, okay. I have I have opinions on on the stuff like this, but I'll I'll play it for you. Uh. In its entirety. Oh my god. Fucking Dan's mum woke up crying after Trump got shot. I mean, to be fair, during the uh, the RNC speech, people were fucking... People were, was she crying because they missed? Like nah, Probably because they hit, to be fair, yeah. knowing like how these middle states are. Alright, let me turn on my, my desktop audio so people can hear. I Go have on. I have not he- heard this uh, either, so Go I'm going to put on the headphones here, or at least play it. I'll do the same then. Play me the speech. Oh, there's no sound? What's going on? Oh, I've hang on. I muted my sound. <laughs> my B. There we go. Okay, I'm also I'm also what locked in. Last week, when they took a shot at my hero. <laughs> at my hero. <laughs> and they tried to kill the next president of the United States. Okay. Enough was enough. And I said, let Trump a media. 
run wild, brother. Let Trump Mania rule again. Let Trump Mania rule again. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Someone get this man off the stage. You know, like, more and more as time goes on, I, I didn't show the clip because I didn't switch to it, but we'll, we'll just run it while I'm talking here. Yeah. More and more as time goes on, I just think, like, have you ever seen the movie Idiocracy? Yes. Trump, like, not even Trump, like, America is just, like, rapidly headed to where that's reality. Oh, yeah. People are bringing up, um, they're bringing up scenes from Idiocracy and then comparing it with, like, what's actually happening now in America and being like, guys, this, this is kind of one-to-one. -one. It's... This is kind of scary. <sighs> bros are, bros are wild, dude. dude Yo, what? Hulk Hogan's, Hulk Hogan's fucking ridiculous, dude. What the fuck? This is why parodies of American politics, like the boys, are so uninteresting. To me. No, I get it. Yeah, like I wouldn't. I, because I, it's just reality. Yeah, pretty much. When it took them, didn't it take the Republicans like four seasons to realize that the boys was a show basically taking the piss out of like not only liberals but also like Republicans mm. in like in America. Mm -hmm. Like it took a long. Like they they think they think that uh, what's his name, the main guy of the boys, the. the Homelander. Homelander, thank you. They think Homelander is like Daredevil, or or, or the Punisher. Sorry, they think right. he's like an antihero. Like they're watching shit. Like, yeah, you know, sometimes he goes a little bit too far, but it's all for the greater good. Like that's how they're watching the show, which right, is completely right, right. unhinged to me. Like, what the fuck? Guys? Mm -hmm. I mean, I hate to harp on it, but like media literacy is is real. Oh, it's dead. Real fucking low. It's fucked. It's really bad. It's really really bad. Considering, um, take the RNC for example. So the RNC just came out. It's, it's the Republican National Convention. It's basically like a big... There's also the DNC, for those who know, the Democratic National Convention. And at this National Convention, you're basically trying to hype up your base. You're, you're hyping up your base of voters um, for the next four months. So when they so they'll turn out to the polls, basically vote for your lead candidate. So it's like uh, basically uh, Donald Trump in this case. And the way it works is that depending on the spin that this takes going forward, you can pretty much um, predict who's going to win the the election so for trump what trump did was one almost got shot brilliant brilliant strat brilliant yeah, strat. i mean yeah. almost got shot and then he goes to the rnc and he's basically like hey listen unity is like the base message i'm spreading and he's spreading that message but basically not taking the piss out of uh biden is is there unity well no but that's the message he's trying to spread now what happens now is that depending on how this message is shared, not only through like Fox News is going to share it as, you know, one for one rhetoric, unity right. is good, Trump, great. Depending on how like the more centrist media shares it and analyzes it, depending on how like more left-wing media shares it and analyzes it, um, you can kind of because who's going to the election. So for example, if they go, you know, Trump was in good showing and he like wanted unity, like they ignore, they ignore all the massive like racial... He said some fucking fucked up shit in that speech, dude. Basically, he's calling like immigrants like terrorists and rapists and the, you know classic Trump mm. stuff. You know, yeah, yeah. if they gloss over that and they're just basically like, you know, Trump called for unity. People on like the outskirts, so people who aren't like hardline Lib uh, Democrats or hardline Republicans, will go, "Oh, I guess he's, well, that sounds nice." Yeah, I guess he wants unity. I, I guess this time he's looking to improve the country. Right. One Everyone more, should be friends. Yeah. One more roll of the dice. I'll vote for him again. Like. A lot of people who don't live in that political th sphere aren't paying attention to everything that's going on until one something big happens or two the elections in like three weeks time and then they go who should i vote for what's happening hmm? that's why like when i used to study politics like um for my degree you'd have elections coming close and you'd be like really like watching the election you're, you're, you're like you're analyzing everything you know what the what both candidates stand for you know like who is quote unquote the good one who is the bad one in mm -hmm. terms of like what you stand for in your own politics and you'll get to a week out election and you have people like duh i just don't know what they stand for duh i mean they're both the same and it's like one guy wants to kill um all the black people and the other one doesn't and they're like no i don't think he said that no he said that that was main part of his speech the speech was titled here's how i'll do it so <laughs> Right, and like, here's how I'll do and it. He, and here's how I'll do it. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, but you realize people don't pay attention as much as they should to these things. So then, when it gets close to the election, they kind of like look at highlight mean, reels. In a way, I don't blame people. Oh, either you can't. It's too like, much. The, not not even that it's too much. It's just like there's other shit 
in oh, yeah. most people's lives that is like more immediate and concerning yeah. Yeah. to where it's no, like oh, if you have three car payments due and rent and you're trying to like feed a family of four or five or whatever right. and out of nowhere someone's like hey who are you gonna vote for you're like i don't fucking care i don't give a shit <laughs> exactly. which one's gonna make it easier for me to live is that it guy. is it a or b literally that guy oh that guy has said that guy said nothing about making it easier for me to live and that guy said something about it cool i'm voting for that guy then i don't fucking care oh he hates people sure i don't have time for this like right. that that's kind of the idea of most people which i get like you don't have time to do um deep research which is why people just watch highlight reels they plug into their favorite news channel and they go cool favorite news channel said this guy want good stuff and also mm-hmm. equality sounds good guess i'm voting for them what do you think is going to happen with the dems as far as like Biden, like they, God, they gotta get rid of. Yeah, fucking they might Grandpa. get rid of him. They gotta get rid of Grandpa Joe. Like that dude doesn't know where the fuck he is. Sleepy Joe. Yeah. So initial oh, Sleepy Joe. <laughs> fucking now he's kind of dead. He's, he's, he's geriatric he? Joe. Yeah, ger- geriatric. Don't give. Shh, don't don't give my ideas. That's great. Don't give my ideas, bro. Fuck, hey, dude. That's that's, that's a don't banger. Don't my spot. I, I no, like true. ghostwriting. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was talk of basically removing him as the candidate elect. And hiring, hiring. I would getting someone hope new. So. They need to because he's. You've lost. Already, you had lost. Already, you had lost, and people are falling themselves into believing that maybe he has a chance of winning. After this, the game is done. I can't. I can't imagine in a world where like, if anyone else but Trump is running as a Republican, yeah. like that, Biden would even move the needle. Like, he like no. that dude. He. he He's like not. It's very like obvious that he's like not cognizant, no. right? Like, I, you, they they can try and be like, oh, well, he just forgot someone's name or blah. blah no, blah. no, he's it's sundowning. Like, like, he's got dementia, dude. Oh, a hundred percent. And they, it just feels like at this point, it's almost like weekend at Bernie's where they just is, like, yeah. they just like haul out the fucking corpse and just like puppet him in front of the the people and like say the thing, Joe. And he goes, uh, yeah, I got I got hairy legs. You got hairy legs. Got hairy legs. Well, wasn't that the one thing where like sometimes he'll be at he'll be at uh conventions or whatever and he'll be like sundowning real fucking hard doesn't know what the fuck's going on and you'll have jill i think his wife's name is jill yeah, yeah. Jill, jill, Biden. jill like whispering to her being like okay now say say thanks for coming mm-hmm. um it was an honor and then shake his hand and he's like thanks for coming it was an honor and then shake his hand he's he's, he's, he's right bro's cooked bro's bro's brain is soup like let him rest yep. let him rest out his last like three years of life or whatever this, this, is, an, this is a very interesting election in america before biden got shot oh, sorry about it before trump i'm predicting i'm predicting <laughs> shit now like last time dude okay I can't honestly i wouldn't be surprised if some no, honestly, yeah. wacky shit like that happened before trump almost got assassinated the the field was very interesting because if biden dropped out the democrats would have won because there was enough swing voters that they would have like gone for biden instead and if trump dropped out the republicans would have won because there was enough swing voters and then enough people that don't like Biden enough that they would have like changed and voted for the uh, Republicans instead. But now, Trump's got fuck. He's, he's got the wind underneath his sails. He, his his campaign is flying forward. He's got the sympathy vote. He's got most swing voters. Pennsylvania is locked down basically. It is now just the case of what can Biden do? Turns out nothing. He got COVID. Mm-hmm. Long get fucked. Um, I if I was like the Republicans, so, so the, the the Democrats, I'd be like, ah, oh, his COVID turned into super COVID, and now he can't election anymore well here's the new guy young man mick liberalton and he's gonna be our new candidate because we can do yeah at this point it's like you kind of gotta mm. i feel like they're gonna put up what's his vice president what's the fuck's his harris harris yeah well, yeah i feel like they're gonna put up harris and be like look let's do the black First black female president, anyone? Mm. Uh, they're gonna, I feel like they're going to try one of those and be yeah. like, oh, oh, I don't, I don't know if that's going to oh, work in their it's, favor. It's not going to work. Her, she stands for nothing. She's not got enough of a base, but they'll try. Mm. They tried with Hillary, failed. He, she lost to fucking Trump. Ridiculous. Right. I think even Trump's it. Even Trump admitted, I think he said, 
in one of his like recent speeches, he was like, Hillary was terrible. And if, if, if the corrupt Republicans, also if the corrupt Democrats didn't uh, cheat Bernie out of the victory, Bernie would have probably beat me, is what he actually admitted to. And right. a man as egotistical as Trump to admit that, I'm like, yo. Yeah. Everyone could see it, dude. And but you, you should have been running Bernie like 15 fucking years ago. Oh, dude, he would have cleaned up, dude. He had a cleaned up. But no, nobody was like, Nobody wanted Bernie. No, of course not. Because he'd he'd a fucking reason. He'd have made a difference. That's why. <laughs> he would have improved that. things, probably. Oh yeah, they hate that. They hate that. Can't have that. Can't have that, dude. Fuck that. Ah oh, man, Lord of Mercy. What 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 an election cycle. Considering like we've just finished a weird Japanese election cycle, and now we're going into an American election cycle. Mm. Bro, what a mm. time to be alive. You hate to see it, but also the content's gonna be fresh as fuck. It's gonna be good. Go on. <laughs> dance fucking dialogue <laughs> what which one see this biting guy comes into my office everything's expensive you seen this everyone's saying it you go to the store dragon ball dvds they're 35 dollars can you believe it when i was in office they were four. can you believe it <laughs> joe biden he doesn't even like dragon ball did you know that <laughs> impact that's what he likes beijing biden oh uh, yeah beijing biden's fucking sick <laughs> And Asian? like, I like I find it's really funny because like Trump's like kind of friends with like Xi Jinping. Oh yeah, he is. Yeah, like, fucking okay. ridiculous. Yeah. Oh America, yeah, I hope you elect someone. I mean, there's no one really good to elect for no. president, but let's hope whoever you elect doesn't burn the country down too aggressively. I'm kind of hoping that whoever they elect kind of fucks up and the dollar crashes a little bit, and so <laughs> please, the yen and so the please. yen improves. Literally, please. that's also why I'm like, hey, 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 Trump. You 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 want to crash the yen the the, the dollar oh, a little bit? That would be great. That'd be I great. I would love it. I would love that. I would actually. I'd really like that a lot. That'd be fantastic for me personally. Nice. On a, yeah. On a personal level, honestly. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Trump as a personal favorite to me. Can you please crash the dollar? Would, would you? Would you? Would you be? I mean, it'd be sick, dude. Do you, know, do you know what? I heard it's cringe to not crash the dollar. Mm. Yeah, there's like uh, there's like other stuff too that he's like talking about like f fucking like I've been hearing about this shit like Project 25, uh, 2025 like I don't oh know what yeah that's crazy that yeah that like that shit's like have you seen that that's wild that, that shit is like straight up damn near neo Nazi shit oh that is neo Nazi shit it's one hundred percent for the uh, look at Google it honestly it's a lot but basically it, it is basically last time Trump was in power they thought that as long as they tell him what to do he'll be able to do it they didn't realize uh, he's not that good at that stuff and he only kind of listens to the last person that was in the room with him so you'll tell him like yeah now change this and he'll be like okay i'll change that and then someone's be like and also change this. And yeah i'll change that but then nothing gets done so project 25 is basically a roadmap from zero literally zero what to do on day one what to do on day zero to the end of his presidency in a sense they want to like map it out so perfectly that once he leaves like they basically like dismantled half the systems in america if this goes through like as ha ha funny as it is as like fresh as the memes would be it's fucking scary dude they're gonna dismantle so many systems i feel really bad for like people living in america which is like it's another one of those guys we gotta vote it's the most important election and, and you can only most important election people so many years in a row. right yeah, yeah, yeah you've done it every every year. election is the most oh, important election every right fucking election has been the most important election of your life dude like you can't do it for the last what last like Four elections they've gone this, this no this is the most important election ever and it's like they all can't be the most important election ever you got to pick one to just like let's yep. chill yep dog shit <sighs> one day we'll have a chill election this is the chillest doesn't matter who you vote for everyone will win everyone will win we both want to legalize drugs and give you all money and tax the billionaires everyone goes fuck it dude coin flip it like who gives a shit run together hell yeah if i win he's gonna be my vice president if he wins i'm his vice president that's it's how it should be. Mm -hmm. We'll get there one day. Do you have any final thoughts or comments? Um, I'm thirsty as a motherfucker. I'm going to get some water. Yeah, we should probably get some water in you. Yeah, water would be fantastic. Any last, any last thoughts, Dave? Any final ideas? Um, Are you good, my I'm boy? I'm trying to think like, what's going on. Um, in? Yeah, uh, next week. Ooh, uh, yeah. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Um, next week, do we want to run just like a weird show where like I move the cameras around and we just like hang out and chill and mm -hmm. do whatever and it's not a podcast and we want to do a podcast? Let me have a gander what I'm doing next week. I think next week I'm going to a live show. Oh. Let me find out what time I'm going to said live show. I'm going to a live show at like three or four tomorrow, uh, next week. So yeah, I, I can come early. We can hang out and do some cool shit instead if you want to do that. 
I mean, yeah, sure we can. Um, I mean, if we want to do it on a different day because we're not like beholden to a schedule. Oh, that's true. That's like, fine. That, we're going to play it by year. Even next yeah. week or the week after. Be yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that works. Third, I'm basically free. Second, I've okay. got like an influencer event I have to go to. Okay. But outside of that, I'm perfectly fine. Shit. I got I got to upload a video as well. Fuck me. I have a video I'm half editing that I need to finish editing tonight and then put it up tomorrow. I'm actually going to go see Jay after this. Hi, Jay, if you're listening. Going to go uh, hang out for a little bit. Mm. He's been a He's been a little bit shad. He's been a new job. He's not He's not had time to hang out with anyone for the last... Th- I know, right? Bless his soul. So we're going to go. We're going to go. I'm going to go say hi to him on his way home. And also, I have all of his James Bond DVDs. Uh, <laughs> and I need to give them back to him. It's been like half a year. But yeah. I'll have some of that. Anyway, boys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to love you and leave you. I'll see you guys next week, as always. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Don't, uh... Don't shoot president candidates, you know? Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, don't do that. It's kind of silly. Bye. Bye.